An asteroid almost destroyed Earth just days ago. Yeah, let's talk about that. Just a few nights ago, a giant asteroid passed just 120,000 miles from Earth. This asteroid is known as 2017 AG13, and it was as big as a 10 story building. This asteroid came within about half the distance that the moon is from Earth, and its next close approach to Earth is expected to be on December 28th of this year. According to NASA, there's going to be around 38 more close calls regarding asteroids in January alone. But not to worry, they aren't expected to hit Earth. But if an asteroid was to pose a serious threat, the White House has recently come out with a strategy called the National Near Earth Object Preparedness Strategy. Well, that's fitting. Basically, this document will improve our nation's preparedness to address the hazard of near Earth object impacts such as asteroids or comets. They do this by enhancing the integration of existing national and international assets and adding important capabilities that are currently lacking. Back in 2013, a 56 foot meteor struck in Russia with no warning and it injured 1,000 people. So it's always good to have a plan. Also, NASA is currently working on a series of missions, one being an asteroid redirection mission. This involves sending a robotic spaceship to an asteroid to create an orbiting base for astronauts. So hopefully with new missions underway, we will get a warning of these asteroids coming so that we can do something about them before they hit and not be caught off guard. Hello everyone and welcome back to LP, I'm Court McGinley. As always, we have a bunch of interesting news stories headed your way. Also, don't forget to leave your questions down below and stay tuned until the end because I will be answering your guys' questions from previous videos. Okay, let's get started. Next, the massive manhunt for a man suspected for killing his pregnant girlfriend and an Orlando police officer is still underway. Markeith Lloyd is the man's name and he has been on the run since Monday morning. This man is expected to be armed and dangerous and hundreds of law enforcement officers are out there trying to hunt him down. Authorities really want to put this man away and yesterday they even increased the reward for information leading to his arrest to $100,000. Two weeks ago, Lloyd became a main suspect in his pregnant girlfriend's killing after he posted a message on Facebook which said goals to be on America's Most Wanted. Since Monday, this man has carjacked two separate cars and the police have said it is unclear where he is now. When caught, Lloyd could be charged with first degree murder of a law enforcement officer and attempted murder of the officer whom he fired at. We'll keep you guys up to date with any developments in this case. Next, a wooden foot bridge inside a Colombian nature reserve collapses. This killed 7 people and injured 15 others. It was said that about 20 people were on this bridge at one point in time and then the bridge collapsed due to the excess weight. This bridge was 32 to 49 feet in the air and you can tell by the strings holding up the bridge that that many people should not have been able to cross at once. This bridge has been privately owned and privately run since 2004 inside the preserve. The owner of the bridge would charge people less than a dollar to cross it which allowed them to take in a spectacular view. The authorities are investigating the accident and they will hold the responsible parties accountable. Next, after eight years of presidency, last night was Barack Obama's final presidential speech in Chicago, and it was an emotional one at that. Obama only had to say the word Michelle, and the whole crowd was on their feet cheering. He gave a beautiful tribute to his wife, and that pretty much made everyone start crying, even Obama himself. Obama also talked about his daughters, saying that out of all I've done in my life, I am most proud to be your dad. And then you start crying all over again. It's just so heartfelt, and you can really feel the love this family shares for one another. Also in his speech, he urged people to maintain their faith in democracy by participating in it. He also spoke about the crucial issue of climate change, saying that to simply deny the problem betrays everyone. He also mentioned the achievements of his administration saying, There were no foreign terrorist attacks on US soil, he provided more Americans with health insurance, and the legislation of same sex marriage. Obama finished his speech with a reference to his 2008 campaign slogan saying, Yes we can, yes we did, yes we can. Next, the new Beauty and the Beast trailer is everything. We hear Emma Watson singing and we get a bit of a deeper look into the movie and the characters. Honestly, I was a little skeptical. I didn't know if she was going to be a good singer, but she sounds amazing. If you're a huge Beauty and the Beast fan like I am, then you will love it. Here's a sneak peek. I want adventure in the great white somewhere. Hello? I want it more than I can tell. Come into the light. <gasps> It might be what if she is? And now it's that time of the week where I read your guys' questions and comments, so let's get started. 
Regarding yesterday's video, Marguerite Phillips said, Well, I learned something today. Glad to hear it. That's what we are here for. Thank you for your comment. Angeline Cortez said, She never picks me, but I still ask, What will you do when you hit 1 million on your vlog channel? I love Landon Productions and your vlogs. Hello, Angeline. I see you and thank you so much for your question. Wow. Well, when I hit 1 million on my vlog channel, I'll make a special video for you guys, of course, and probably do a giveaway or something like that for my fans. And by the way, for those of you who don't know yet, about my vlog channel. After this, you guys can head on over to Court McGinley and check out some of my vlogs. And while you're there, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would make my day. Also, for those of you already subscribed, I'm uploading my first video of the new year on Friday. Very exciting stuff. I can't wait for you guys to see this video. It's a fun one. So stay tuned for that. And thank you, Angeline, for being a supporter. Trey Pereira asked, What's your favorite social media? Well, I love Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, but if I had to pick one, it would probably be Instagram. Brett the Gamer asked, when was your first video? My first video was June 25th, 2015. Bryn Carter said, hey Courtney, congrats on your engagement. Where is your wedding going to be and will there be a theme? Well actually yesterday we just went to a new location to check that out. Right now we have two locations, but we will have to pick one by Monday. So that's exciting and we're going to have an autumn theme. Again, more updates with my wedding will be on the vlog channel. All right, that's all the news I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? And I'll catch you guys in the next one.